Hi guys, Exaltech here. Using Samsung flagship devices right on your PC is made possible by using Samsung's official remote test lab tool for developers. But in order to use that tool, your system must meet minimum requirements such as a modern web browser and JavaScript must be enabled in that browser. So make sure to navigate to the browser settings and enable JavaScript in it. In Java Runtime Environment version 7 or later with Java Web Start must be installed on your PC. So if you haven't previously installed JRE, then check out the link in the description to download and install it. And Network Port 2600 must be available in your PC. Now navigate your favorite web browser and go to the web page developer.samsung.com slash remote dash test dash lab. So after entering into the web page, find the sign in button at the top right of your screen. So now sign in with your Samsung account if you have one or else create a new Samsung account by signing up. So instead of creating a new Samsung account, you can also just sign in with your Google account itself. So just after signing in, you will be redirected to a page containing the featured devices from Samsung where you can find all the latest flagship series devices. So in order to get the full list of devices available for RTL, click the get started button. In this site, you can get the full list of devices available for RTL, including the foldable display ones, the Z Flip and the Galaxy Fold, Galaxy S20 lineup, Note 10 series, S10, S9, S8, each and every flagship device from Samsung is available here for you to test the device and also to test your application before publishing it on the Play Store or the Galaxy Store. So apart from these flagship devices, you can also find some of the tablet devices, the Z series Tizen devices and the watch wearable ones. So now for instance, let me check out the Galaxy S20 Ultra for remote test. So now just select the OS version needed and select the device with the nearest server to you. I'm choosing the Korean server and reserve the time. I'm choosing 30 minutes. But testing those devices remotely requires credits. So in order to earn free credits, you can just share your test and earn RTL credits. Just by clicking those buttons, you can get free credits or click the free credit button per day to get 10 credits free. So now just start a new .jnlp file will be downloaded on your system. So just open that file and you need not keep your browser open anymore as it will be open using the Java runtime environment. Now click run and once the skin loads, your device will be ready to use. So now click proceed and select your desired device language. I'm selecting English. Okay. Now the device is ready to use. You can customize the device by right clicking over the screen to adjust the screen quality, but this entirely depends on the network connection speed and you can adjust the orientation of the device to suit your usage. I'm keeping it portrait. Apart from that, you can also change the scale of the device to suit the size of your PC screen. Apart from that, you can share the RTL device, capture, record the screen and save it to a PC's folder. Here you can manage the applications that are installed in your device and you can also share the clipboard between mobile to PC and PC to mobile to share text. You can also transfer files between PC and the device and the device is totally intended for developer purposes as it is mainly used for testing apps before publishing them up on the Galaxy Store or on the Google Play Store. And instead of purchasing a new flagship device just to test your applications, you can use this RTL as an alternative. And this is fully compatible with my physical input devices, the keyboard, mouse and the touch input of my PC so that it is fully controllable from my PC. Once you have installed your test application on this device, just right click over the screen and go to the manage section and find the application option there to manage your applications installed on this device to either install or uninstall them. You might think that this is a virtual skin device but this is actually a real device. In order to prove it, I am showing you the camera screen of the device. It is placed somewhere in the cabin in the Samsung developer's office. 
So Samsung is providing you free access to real devices rather than virtual devices to get the actual result of your application being tested on that device. And you can just right click over the screen and click exit anytime to exit from the device and make sure to clear all your traces before exiting from the device. Hope you like this video. Do consider subscribing and stay tuned.